Hey guys, it's Goody here, and this is a video to show you what Buried is based on, or what Buried should have been based on. Um, I want to just show you how hard it was actually to predict this zombie map, the map of Buried, the wild old western style, because literally Treyarch have stopped basing their zombie maps on multiplayer and campaign maps. It's a bit of an issue, so this video isn't more of a, um, a theory kind of what it's going to be, because obviously we already know what it's going to be, but it's mainly a how hard it would have been if I was to go around predicting this zombie map, because there was literally no clues. So... Hopefully you enjoy it. There's not much of it, but hopefully you're going to really enjoy it. So let's start off with the campaign mission, Suffer With Me. And a funny thing is, we do tend to find all of these clues inside the missions from the 1900s, inside the missions that include Woods and Mason. That's probably because the Nazi zombie storyline originated from the 1900s. Now, the big thing inside Suffer With Me is the two Grim Reaper bloodstains we can find inside the motel rooms. And I was already, I was like, oh my god, Grim Reaper bloodstains, let's scour this map in so much detail. I was so ready to make loads of tenuous links to actually make the next zombie map, but alas, I couldn't find much. And I'm so glad that Treyarch finally just released Barry to put me out of my misery because I had to give up. There was literally not enough evidence to base a theory on, which is really annoying. So, other than the Grim Reaper bloodstains, there is that picture to the next of it. And it just looks like Cove, the next multiplayer map. And we're not trying to predict multiplayer maps, we're trying to predict zombie maps. So that was a bit of an issue, but it looked a bit like Cove, I'd say. Now, other things around this map is the papers that always crop up, which, um... Yeah, they're not really going to help, they're a bit weak. There's the tower in the background there, and because we're revisiting the... I'd say the second lot of characters are ridiculously bad Fab 4, if you say, but... um. We're going to be building towers again, or we're going to be linking towers. So there's a tower in the background there, and also some radios. I was really happy to find these, because I don't think I've come across a map that actually includes zombie Easter egg style radios before, but if you shoot them, nothing happens, which was really sad. But radios did crop up. That's it for Suffer With Me. Let's go on to Solarium, and I've really thought this would have been a map because it links kind of towards Shangri-La, the jungly aspect, a bit like Sheena Numa, and I bought this because Buried kind of looks a bit like Shangri-La with the tunnels with the narrow passageways so that's why I looked at this I didn't find much apart from the die rise dragons and also there was a Damien file stack I know it's literally that tenuous this time guys so then I got underground and I just found myself literally trekking through the campaign for the sake of killing people it was it was pretty bad so I actually just stopped playing because not only do I not really enjoy this game that much but I also know the next zombie map it's already been announced so and because I was in a high-tech lab, I knew that it wouldn't be here unless they pull an absolute transit on us again, which they could do. It's season two zombies, after all. Anyway, I could have touched upon old wounds, but after spending two hours looking around that huge map last time for my last video, and if you haven't already seen that, there'll be a link somewhere, I'm sure. But um, I didn't really find much that I can remember that linked to um, Buried, but if you guys can remember some of them, link back and tell me in the comments. So, we're going on to multiplayer now, and the only multiplayer map that I could ever think of was Studio, because that was released last time, and this was a base off Firing Range. And we all know how lovely Firing Range was, with the Easter eggs, with the teddy bear, with the tank Dempsey bullets, with the Nazi zombie style writing, the gateway to hell, all of that good stuff. But, no, there's no teddy bears, there's, no, there's none of that good stuff on Studio, but there's a couple of things, and... I was kind of right because Studio has this Wild West setting, this kind of movie set, old western theme going on, which is probably what Treyarch were hinting to for Buried, because obviously they like their DLC 2 to the next zombie map kind of thing. They like doing that. So, lo and behold, I was right with Thing in the Wild West. The, the tunnels are a bit like Shangri-La, like I've already said, but... I can already see this being an okay map, especially because it's set in the past, because I like past games, but I can see myself getting bored of it quite easily. Now, we're, we're heading to the saloon. You get an idea of the interior that's going to be inside buried, and then just behind the saloon, there's this spinning tower-like thing. Again, towers, we all like activating towers, don't we? Thanks for that, Treyarch. So... Then we um, we have a wanted poster with Quick Draw McGraw over here, <laughs> and he has a possible relation slash uh, the base character for our inmate and Barry. You know the guy that Treyarch are like, you can either help this guy or he can help you or you can kill him and it'll be really 
beneficial to the Easter egg, that kind of good stuff. So, yeah, he might be the dead or alive guy you're seeing on the poster. And there's also a prison cell, not with the Wild West kind of set, but with the pirate set. But the prison cell's also really nice. And that's basically it. That's what Berry could have been based on, but I'm not going to count this as one of my theories, obviously, because... Buried has already been announced, therefore I'm kind of predicting something that's already been announced and it's just, it's not going to work. Also, I wasn't going to do one. I, I had a look for about a week with loads of things, but I couldn't find enough evidence to base a theory on. And I didn't want to put something out that was just going to be atrocious and a, a huge shamble. So, that was kind of what Buried could have been based on. Now, I just want to give you some of my thoughts about Buried then. So... The old style western kind of thing, I'm really going to like that because I really enjoy old style games. So it really should be a really fun environment to play in, the diversity. The old characters are back, yay. Uh, Misty and that lot. I'd say they're a bit better than the Weasel and Sal was another I didn't play more of the Dead that much. But I'd say they're a bit better than those characters because we've, we've been more maps in them. So they're kind of more relatable. And also my experience with Mob of the Dead was not fun. Office of Demise! <laughs> okay, so um, it'll probably bring back the, the bank and fridge system for storing weapons again because obviously we're using these characters. Um, we'll be doing shit with towers, activating them for Maxis and Richtofen because of the blue eyes and stuff. The Reagan Mark II, I was really annoyed when they announced it. It was like, we're going to bring back an old fan favourite. It's literally, why couldn't you have brought back the Wunderwaffe, the Thunder Gun, anything other than the Reagan that's been... Inside every map, we want something new, something we haven't experienced yet. Even the the, you know, the zap guns would have been fun, but they're making a Mark II of the Reagan. I was quite annoyed with this because they were like changing a, a core weapon. But then after the recent patch where the Reagan Mark II was in every season two zombie map, I was really quite happy because it's like the Reagan isn't a part of this shambles of a season two zombies anymore. The Reagan's kind of escaped because have you seen how these inexperienced characters hold and aim down the sights of a Reagan? If I can, I'll probably put a picture on someone aiming down the sights of a Reagan, but they don't use it under the arc. They actually aim it over and it really annoys me. So at least they've reinvented a, a worse kind of version of the original good Reagan for this terrible season. And that's just my opinion. I know some commentators are like, oh, we're really going to enjoy this um, this season of zombies, really going to enjoy these new maps. And they're, you know, not all of them, but some of them might be lying because really, in my opinion, the original is always the best. And season two is just not held up and it could have had so much potential. I don't even know what's happened. I, I want to make a video, but... They may have just, like, fired their entire Season 1 zombie staff because of, you know, YOLO and that lot. But, whatever. Let's go on to something else. Um, da 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 Looking for my notes. So, Light Die Rise, it's going to look a bit fun, but I'm probably going to be bored with about a month of it. That's basically my thoughts on Buried. <laughs> and I just want to leave you with some life updates. So... I've just about finished school for this year, so expect more videos across my channels, obviously this and that my goodie channel, the vlogging, but, you know, I've still got to get this final week out of the way. I also have some sub-major videos I want to make on Mob of the Dead because I didn't finish making videos, so don't think I've forgotten about covering that. I still want to make videos to c cover its whole potential. And I'm also thinking, well, really it's kind of in the works of starting another series soon, which I'm really excited about, so hopefully you'll stick around for that. So guys, thanks for watching this video about what Barry could have been based on and also the lack of evidence. Literally, I scoured the whole maps and that's all I found. Treyarch didn't include much this time for me, which is a bit of a shame. But, there's still one map pack left in my eyes, and I, I already have a very, very strong theory about what that's going to be. So please stick around and subscribe for that one. Other than that, guys, again, thank you for watching. It's been Goody, and goodbye. Yeah, it's goofy as all hell, but at least we know it works.